Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about interaction between GeoTracker and Cinema 4D within After Effects. In the first part of this tutorial we will show you how to change the material and Cinema 4D of an object tracked with its 3D model. In the second part you will see how to enhance simple geometry objects in Cinema 4D using a primitive model. So this is our project. Basically, we're going to pick some elements on this car and replace their materials in Cinema 4D. We've already tracked this car using its 3D model in GeoTracker. What we need to do now is export the null object along with the camera and send the composition directly to Cinema 4D. So go to File, Export and select Max on Cinema 4D Exporter. Name and save the project and then open it in Cinema 4D. As you can see, all layers here are exactly the same as in After Effects. First off, go to Create menu, then Tag, Rigging Tags and click Protection to lock the camera position. Now import the car model using the Merge project option found in the File menu. Parent our car model to the null object and reset its position and rotation to zero, then save the project. Let's go back to After Effects, import the Cinema 4D file and see what's going to happen. Once you load the Cinema 4D project, the Cineware plugin automatically appears in the Effect Controls panel. In a word, Cineware is a bridge between Cinema 4D and After Effects. Go to Cineware Project Settings, choose Select Cinema 4D Camera and set the exported camera from GeoTracker. We do this because we want to always look at the objects exactly through this camera. Let's now press play. We see our model following the car frame by frame. Finally, we can modify the elements, like the doors or the body, quite safely along the timeline. You can pick materials from Material Editor and apply them to any parts. Let's paint this car red, for example. Alright, let's check it out in After Effects. Looks nice. Ok, here's another example. The object we'd like to enhance was tracked with a primitive model type. Let's add some visual effects to the ball on the footage. Like in the first part of this video, we start off with exporting null object and camera. Then we save the project as a C4D file and open it in Cinema 4D. Don't forget to lock the camera. Since the ball was created using the primitive sphere model, the sphere we are creating has to have the same radius. Parent the sphere to the null object and reset the position and rotation to zero, just like we did before. If you open it now in After Effects, you will see that the sphere model and the ball move and rotate together. Alright, let's go back to Cinema 4D and play around with the sphere. For example, we can deform, animate and add some material to it. Good. Let's get back to our composition and add a glow effect. Now we can check the result. Looks great! That's just one of the ways you can use GeoTracker with Cinema 4D in After Effects. If you want to learn more, check out our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about our new tutorials and streams. If you haven't already, download GeoTracker from our website and enjoy the fully functional free trial.